Jenny from Jenny Jelly Photography. If you don't know who I am, now you do. And I am looking at my old photos today, critiquing them trying to be nice. This was a decade ago, so these photos have collected a little bit of dust. Pulling them out. And maybe somebody who's wanting to start in photography can see, you know, we all start somewhere. I am really glad that I did start this photography journey. Also, if you see me looking down at what looks like nothing, I actually have my computer right in front of me with these pictures. I'm gonna make them pop up somewhere around here for you. This first photo was taken July 2011 and it's titled Along for the Ride. If you are local to Kansas City, you probably recognize this ride. It's called the Mamba and I did take this while riding the Mamba. I did want to start with this one because I actually think this photo is pretty cool. I really love this shadow. It's a really cool effect. I wish I could have gotten the cart in it just a little bit more because it's like sort of peeking into the photo and coming into the photo still, but you guys, I googled it. This ride goes up to 75 miles an hour. I did my best, okay? Cool photo, this is awesome. I took this on my Nikon Cool Picks. Those cameras were cool, okay? Cool. Good one to start with. Let's look at the next one. This one is called <laughs> Lonely Cupcake. <laughs> and I took this June 2010, a full, full 10 years ago. My caption for this one was, my grandma is the coolest, which has stood the test of time, she is still the coolest. I took this with a Sanyo E1075, which means nothing to me except it was another camera I thought was cool. My grandma makes amazing cupcakes and of course I had to take a picture. Now, I just have to say, this edit, it does look kind of sad, like it gives that mood of sadness. For those of you who remember like editing your photos and you click these random filters, I feel like I let the filters control the photo. I just would click a filter and I'd be like, okay, that looks cool. I guess we're going with a sad look, but the frosting looks pretty good. Now I want my grandma's cupcakes. Okay, next photo. This one is called Converse in the Sand. Took this April 2010. Is it some sort of rite of passage? Like you have to take a photo of your converse as a teenager? Like does everybody have to do that? Is that like a requirement? I wanna say I tried to make a heart in the sand and it didn't work out so I just took a picture of my feet. This was at Lake Tahoe and Lake Tahoe is really pretty and I took a picture of the sand. Next picture, we're just gonna keep it going, okay? Just gonna keep it moving. I don't want us to be staring at these too long or nobody's gonna wanna be my friend after this. This next photo, I think it's kinda cool. Definitely a teenager took this photo. It's called Truth on the Wall and I took it April 2010. We were actually painting the garage and I thought it'd be cool to paint this and then it was just gonna be painted over, so. I think it's cool. I actually had an idea and put something together before I took the picture instead of just like, oh, you know what I mean? This photo. This photo I titled Nelson Atkins Museum. The title really leaves a mystery of what's in the photo. So this is the Nelson Atkins Museum in Missouri. Kansas City, that's what I meant to say, Kansas City, Missouri. But anyway, it drives me bonkers. Let me tell you why. I have a hard time thinking of what bothers me more than a horizon that isn't straight? It's not a straight line. It is diagonal, just a little bit. It hurts, it, it hurts to look at this one. I could have straightened it just a little bit. That's like the number one offense for me right now is not having a straight horizon. But if I have to point something else out, this photo is a little dark. The grass is really dark. The sky looks dreary, man. I I just took dreary photos. I need to give myself credit because my light and airy style I have now has just come with more practice and more experience and seeing what I like, but it's just so different from what these photos are. March 2010. I don't know if I said when this was taken, March 2010. All right. <laughs> I told you that that photo bothered me. I, this one bothers me more. Okay, so this photo is titled Journal of Love. I took it June 2010. A little information about this photo. The journal that's in this photo was green. 
the ribbon in the pipe cleaner that spells out love was red and I thought it was the coolest thing that I could manipulate colors especially in the days of like picnic pick monkey which I think is still a thing yeah those those were not the original colors I really thought I was doing something there I put in the work for this photo okay for you all to enjoy 10 years later near the L it looks a little blurry like it looks like my lens was blurry and that's another thing that bothers me it just looks like the lens wasn't cleaned off it's kind of like when your glasses are blurry but nothing we can do about that can't edit that out you got a dirty lens all right so this next one this is called yellow dandies i spelled it d-a-n-d-y-s i don't think that's how you would spell that wouldn't it be i-e-s whatever i took this may 2010 yeah the colors are just completely blown out i over edited and then some i hate it <laughs> sorry sorry to my past self i hate it <laughs> also i just i don't know what to look at like it's just a mess of dandelions there's no no guidance in this picture of what I should be looking at. It's just a mess of dandelions. This kind of makes me not want to see the color yellow ever again. Just kidding, but Whew. next we have <laughs> well, this one is called Love Finds a Way. I took this July 2010. This just goes to show starting out photography, I would take pictures of anything. I did add the words because I I was cheesy still am let's be honest i took this with my canon power shot i can't tell you how many cameras i've had in my lifetime i also can't tell you where on earth those cameras are now no idea it's cute i mean at least i know what to look at I, i'm looking at the bear or the words you know i'm not looking at a mess of dandelions you know it's cute i don't hate it and this will be our last one I took this in New York City. We went on a school trip and this one is titled New York, New York. Shocker. And I took it June 2011. Another year older, another year wiser, another year better at photography. <laughs> I actually love this photo. I think it's pretty dang cool. It's not in focus. It's taken through a bus window. You can tell it's taken through a window. You can see the reflection. We were just driving through New York City. It's not completely straight, like we talked about the horizon. It is a little crooked, but I'm not even all that bothered by it, like in the last picture. If you look up at the sun, you can see that the window is not clean. You can see the spots on the window where the light hits it. But the reason why I like this photo is the edit I went with, whether it was intentional or not, I think goes with the style of this photo. I love city photography in general. I would probably go in and straighten it, but after that, I would, I would print this out and hang this up in my home. I think it's really cool. It's a good one to end on, and on a positive note. I do have a ton more, so maybe we'll do another one. I don't know, but I had a blast looking through these. These were obviously before I really had people in front of my camera and before I had my professional gear. Thanks for watching. I hope this sends a message out there to those of you who might want to get started with photography or might just be starting something fresh in general. We all start somewhere. I know I've definitely come a long ways and I've still got more to go. So thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.